The last few videos we've been talking about the proximal convoluted tubule and the loop of Henle is the part of the nephron which is after the proximal convoluted tubule. So we can see this diagram here on the left which shows you the nephron tubule and we can see here is the proximal convoluted tubule and then when we go down here this is where we have the loop of Henle. So it's this region here and we can divide the loop of Henle into the ascending limb which is this part here which goes up and the descending limb which is this part here that goes down. So to begin this video on the loop of Henle we're going to first talk about the ascending limb first. So we can divide the ascending limb into two regions. We have the thick and thin segment of the ascending limb. So you can see here we have the thin segment which is just after the initial loop and then here we have the thicker segment here and this thick segment of the ascending limb of the loop of Henle is what carries the filtrate to the distal convoluted tubule which is located in the renal cortex and that's this region here. So the thick segment is what carries the filtrate to that region. So salt is initially going to be ejected from this th thick segment of the ascending limb into the surrounding interstitial fluid and in cells of the thick portion of ascending limb we have the movement of sodium ions down its electrochemical gradient from the filtrate into the cells. So we have uh, sodium ions which are going to be in the filtrate and they're going to move from a region which has a more positive charge which is the filtrate to the cells of the uh, ascending limb which is less positive in comparison. And what this does is once the sodium ions move out it powers um, secondary active transport so because now we have the uh, sodium ions move into the cells of the ascending limb it becomes slightly more positive so to balance it chloride ions are then going to move in and also potassium ions are also going to move in so it initially powers the the movement of um, chloride and potassium to also follow through after sodium is moving into these cells and the ratio of which this occurs is one sodium ion per two chloride ions per one potassium ion. Now the sodium ions are then actively transported across the basolateral membrane of the epithelial cells of the ascending limb into the interstitial fluid which is the fluid surrounding the nephron via sodium and potassium pumps and then chloride ions are going to also follow passively because it's going to become more positive so chloride is going to follow and then we also have uh, potassium ions which are going to diffuse back into the filtrate. Now unlike the epithelial walls of the proximal tubule, the walls of the ascending limb of the loop of Henle are not permeable to water. So the filtrate in the ascending limb becomes increasingly dilute as it ascends to the cortex which is here. So while the fluid surrounding a loop of Henle in the medulla becomes increasingly concentrated we have the filtrate which is going to become more dilute. So the fluid entering the distal tubule is going to be then called hypotonic and the interstitial fluid in the medulla so surrounding the, the loop of Henle in this region here is going to become hypotonic or more concentrated.